guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Mary I do skincare reviews on my channel so if you're interested then please subscribe and you will be notified every time a new video is uploaded today I'm going to talk about a very popular product from the brand Neutrogena and it's their hydro boost water gel moisturizer this product comes in two different quantity the smaller quantity which is 15 grams is priced at 450 rupees and the bigger quantity which is 50 grams that is priced at 1050 rupees which is quite expensive but this is come this comes from the premium range of Neutrogena talking about the packaging it comes in a outer cardboard box like this and the inner packaging comes in the form of this nice sturdy uh, plastic tub the texture of this uh, moisturizer is the unique factor of this one and the texture is uh, really superb and because of this a lot of other brands have tried to uh, like you know recreate similar textures uh, in their moisturizer so this has a, a water gel as they call it this has a gel based texture it's a water based formula and uh, it is definitely quite absorbing quick absorbing Talking about the ingredients, they have added hyaluronic acid in this one. It also contains synthetic color and synthetic fragrance. Apart from it also contains a lot of silicones in this one. Let's take a look at the claims and see what's so special about this so popular and so famous moisturizer. With 50% more hyaluronic acid has a unique lightweight fresh texture that can be instantly absorbed. Proven to effectively lock in abundant hydration deep within your skin and continuously quench your skin's thirst throughout the day. Key features are two times deeper penetration and skin boost of instant hydration, strengthen skin's barrier, five dimensions of healthy skin achieved which is smoothness, firmness, translucency and trouble free and plumpness. So that's about it from the claims. So one of the claims that they say that it gives you smoothness, I completely agree because they have added a lot of silicone. So it makes the skin very smooth and soft and it is actually great for uh, like as a moisturizer before applying makeup. So after using this moisturizer, makeup sits very well and it creates like a smooth canvas on your face to apply makeup. So this acts like a primer too. That is something that I agree with. Uh, uh, second thing I agree with this with their claims is the hydration. So they say that it gives two times more hydration because they have changed the formula and uh, hydration level is quite higher as compared to most other moisturizers. So definitely they give you a lot of more hydration if you that is something you're, that you're looking for. It has a unique lightweighted texture. So it is definitely lightweight. It looks thick in texture but once you apply it on your skin it absorbs very quickly it's very lightweight as they have claimed so if you have oily skin which is dehydrated this is a good formula this is a good formulation for a, a moisturizer another thing i like about this product is the packaging it's quite sturdy it looks premium it looks very nice and as i mentioned the texture and packaging is something which is the unique aspect of this product now coming to the things that i did not like another claim they say that it strengthens the skin barrier and i completely disagree with this claim because it did not work for me uh, every time i applied it even the first time when i applied this moisturizer it caused a burning sensation on my skin and it caused a lot of irritation i had allergic reaction and sensitive parts of my skin and I got breakouts too like small uh, tiny breakouts and uh, this did not work for me so this does not strengthen your skin barrier if you if you have acne prone and sensitive skin so for acne prone and sensitive skin I will not recommend if you have normal uh, to oily skin that is not sensitive not acne prone and if your skin is dehydrated then you can give this a try the texture is good and the uh, the texture is good and uh, packaging is nice if you want extra hydration and other moisturizers are not giving you that hydration then you can give it a try but try the smaller quantity first in case you are not sure if this will work for you if you have not tried any other product of Neutrogena before hydration level is quite high I agree with that but they have also added a lot of silicone and synthetic fragrance in it and I think it is because of the excess fragrance or too much of silicone that might be uh, causing a breakout but it's definitely something that irritated my skin since it contains perfume it does have like a perfumey fragrance uh, which is like moderate uh, not very mild also 
thing is it is the most popular uh, moisturizer and so many people love this and there it's already very popular with the texture and everything and a lot of people it works for a lot of people but it did not work for me it did not work for me it did not work for me and i will not recommend something that did not work for me and because uh, sensitive skin people uh, not everything works for people with sensitive skin so i am in those category of people um i was expecting that it may work since this is so popular and i the masses uh, love it but it did not work for me so i have come here to share this review because i don't review a lot of already very famous and very popular products because there's already a lot of reviews out there but since i got my hands on this one so i thought of um sharing this with you guys and so that's about it from my overall review of the neutrogena hydro boost water gel i hope you found this review to be useful and if you did don't forget to hit the thumbs up button make sure you are subscribed for more, for more such skin care reviews and you'll find a lot of these videos from the description box below and that's it from today i'll see you guys in my next one bye